Do you remember Pokemon Go? Or maybe you were really into hanging out with Tom Nook on Animal Crossing during COVID lockdowns. Or watched this Ariana Grande concert with friends on Fortnite. Maybe it wasn't obvious, but you're already part of something that could be called the metaverse. The term metaverse has gotten a lot of attention since Mark Zuckerberg announced the rebrand of Facebook to Meta. They're going all in on this futuristic universe. But what on earth is a metaverse? Is it just fun and games or could the metaverse change our internet lives? I went into the metaverse to find Zoe, our tech editor, to get the rundown in under four minutes. Hey Albert, over here. Whoa, this is so much cleaner than London. Right? We're in Decentraland, a metaverse where you can create avatars and speak to other people online. Wait a second, let's get back to the basics. What is the metaverse? The metaverse is a creation of online worlds, which you can basically access using the internet to, for example, play games, socialize, or even work. The name was coined by a book called Snow Crash in 1992, and the concept was made popular by a dystopian action film called Ready Player One. What's the link to Facebook? So Mark Zuckerberg last month announced that he was rebranding Facebook as Meta to reflect the company's focus on the metaverse, which Zuckerberg sees as the future of the internet. While we've seen moves by companies like Roblox, Microsoft, Tencent, Epic Games, the makers of Fortnite, to build their own metaverse. And who will control the metaverse? It's hard to say yet, as we don't yet have a fully formed metaverse, but most likely the big tech companies building them as they'll have access to all the data. Can you show us? Sure, follow me. I hear Tinder's looking into making a metaverse. Well, as cringe as it may sound, if you follow the logic of replicating your reality into a virtual world, then why not include dating? So NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, are a type of asset that use blockchain to record ownership of virtual goods. So if you own a drawing as an NFT in the metaverse, that means that drawing belongs to you, even if the virtual world you're in disappears. Wait, what's blockchain got to do with metaverse? So some digital worlds like Decentraland use blockchain tech and cryptocurrencies to allow users to buy land or other types of virtual assets. Shall we go through here? What would your metaverse avatar be called? I would have to say my board game name, Sneaky Bullet. Okay, but on a serious note, are there any ethical concerns around the metaverse? There are. I'd say the top three concerns are probably data privacy, bullying, and censorship. If you think that social media platforms already know a lot about you, well, they're likely to collect even more data in the metaverse. This can be anything from your financial information, biometrics data, who you speak to, when you log on, any interactions that have been picked up in the online world. So is my avatar really mine? Could someone hijack it? Well, it depends on each platform, but according to Decentraland, for example, avatars are associated with a user's wallet, meaning that they own the avatar as well as any other digital asset. Deepfakes are a possibility, and they're becoming really common. So while we're still a way off from an actual metaverse, there are cases where someone could pretend to be your avatar and benefit from it. And then there's also the concern of data breaches, which have happened to platforms like Fortnite. Well, cyberbullying is already a concern on a lot of gaming platforms like Fortnite. And if those platforms become even more realistic and engaging, then there is a real risk that it could have an impact on participants unless the platforms do more to deal with that type of problem. And given Facebook's plan to refocus on its younger users, that concern with the metaverse is even more relevant. Like social media platforms, could we see censorship in the metaverse? It is likely. Social media platforms like Facebook or video game platforms like Animal Crossing already censor certain types of content and players to guard against extremist content or to protect users. Final question. Is the future going to look like Ready Player One? I really hope not. There you have it. That's everything you need to know about the metaverse. Before you go, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. And now it's back to Pokemon Go.